Wandering around the park, Tatum was looking at the Pokemon that had nice tails. She is wearing a pink shirt and black skirt, combined with fishnet leggings. She has some candy bracelets and a coker. She likes her appearance, a bit rebellious. She walked to the field, seeing the dozen of Pokemon, as the flying type Poké tilde copyright moan flow by. As Tatum was walking by passing grass, she heard a noise coming from nearby. To see an Esper being attacked by sparrows, Tatum knew the poor Pokemon needed help. She rushed to the sparrow, to stop them. Hey, cut it out, Tatum shouts. As the sparrows flew away, the Esper was surprised to see the woman just saved the Esper. The Esper was injured. Seeing some scratches on their arm. Oh no, Tatum shouts. Here I'll get some cloth. As she opened her bag, to reveal a medical cloth, she tears the cloth, wrapped around as per his arm. There you go, Tatum said. The Esper was appreciated with the help, as the blue cat-like creature walked to them. A male meow stick, Tatum said. The meow stick noticed the injury from the Esper, to know Tatum is helping its offspring. For the appreciation of her kindness. The meow stick is going to give a spell. As he opens and sears, the magic cloud goes to her. Tatum was confused. She was shaking around. Hey, I help you kid. Tatum shouts. As the meow stick spurks, shocking his head for helping the esper. As the pocket tilde copyright moan leaves her, Tatum walks away. Going back, she walked to the park. Wave goodbye to the kids who play in the park, leaving to go to the forest. As she entered the forest, she felt a pressure on her back. She wasn't sure what it was, as Tatum looked at her back, to see undeveloped tail growing, extended long enough, split into two white tails. She was confused. Wait, the male meow stick is turning me into a meow stick? Tatum was confused. She gives gratitude for the esper, the meow stick turning her into a Pokemon. As she noticed, the Pokemon family went to her and smiled to see her tail. Tatum thought the meow stick was going to assimilate her. But she was confused. She looks at her tail and wiggles around. She sparks some sprinkles as her fingers drastically shrink, until it becomes an invisible paw, as dark blue fur spreads her new paw. What's happening to me? Tatum was worried. As the white fur grows, her arms make the bracelets feel uncomfortable. She takes off, as she feels something growing on her neck. As the blue collar fur grew on her neck, her coker popped out. She felt her ears lengthen as the inner ear slowly disappeared. Exchange for the eye symbol, as her eyes have changed, her sclery changed to yellow, and the iris changed to red, as her nose shrinks into a microdot nose, as white fur spreads her face, and her hair shrinks, changed to blue, as she felt her chest burn out, as she started to shrink, her height decreased, she looked like she turned back to a child as white fur took over her torso. As the Pokemon continued watching her transformation, her legs grew blue fur. She strained against the fishnets, her legs reducing. Her feet are shrinking. As she gets smaller, her clothes and accessories collapse to nothingness. Tatum was confused and looked at her inhuman appearance. She was now a meow stick. The other female meow stick smiled. Her tail wagged, blushing in embarrassment. She thought she didn't have to worry. Just go with the flow. As she kicks out her clothes, walking with the family of Meowst, Ick and Esper, letting go of her human past.